going on YouTube? This is Austin Sweet here from the Sweet Life Dakota in Austin coming at you again with another video for you guys today and today. Well, as you can see, I'm on vacation right now. I'm at Virginia Beach, but that's not going to stop me from making a quick video for you guys. This is episode three of Wrestling Talk. I meant to do one, what, yesterday? Yes. I meant to do one two days ago, but I didn't get the chance. All right. Um, so I thought today I would talk about, I'd rant on Bailey's women's title reign um ever since bailey turned heel i have not been a fan of bailey's title reign one bit um to me just a bunch of recent rinse and repeat opponents like she's wrestled lacey evans so many times uh naomi like it's it's ridiculous yeah that looks um and her and sasha consider themselves to be the greatest tag team of all time not even close. There's better tag teams out there. I trust. I trust me on that. <clears throat> I mean, when the time is right, we'll eventually get um, Bailey versus Banks. I really wouldn't bet on it. But at the same time, though, they really need to book um, Bailey's championship branch a little bit better. Because going three over 300 days with the title and not having any good opponents, just a bunch of rinse and repeat, just shows that WWE has no fresh talent um, for Bailey to face. And if you saw last night on night one of the Great American Bash, you saw that her lackey, Sasha Banks, lost to Io Shirai because Asuka interfered, which kind of surprised me. I did not expect Asuka to be at NXT, but and for Bailey to hold two sh two belts at the same time kind of ridiculous. I mean, she didn't even wrestle at Backlash. So why even put the belt why put the women's tag team belts on Bailey and Banks anyways considering Bailey had like no one to face? So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It just shows WWE that they got no new talent for Bailey to face. And um, I apologize about the sun. Real sunny here where I'm at. But, um, I mean, it's just ridiculous that um, Bailey has, like, rinse and repeat opponents. I mean, I would like to see some first time evers. I'd like to see Bailey take on Io Shirai. Uh, Candice LeRae, Meg, or, yeah, uh, Tegan Knox, Dakota Kai. Um, it would be nice to see that happen, but knowing WWE, it never will. So, for that, and for Bailey and Banks to call themselves the greatest tag team of all time, message to Bailey and Banks you two are not the greatest tag team of all time. There are better tag teams out there. LOD, uh, Eminem. The Nasty Boys, Four Horsemen, Steiner Brothers. There's plenty of better tag teams out there that are better than you two. And you two compare yourself to the Hardy Boys. Come on now, like seriously. Bailey and Banks comparing themselves to the Hardy Boys? No, that's just low. Because the Hardy Boys is literally one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Literally. If it wasn't for them, the Dudleys, and Edge Christian, we wouldn't have TLC. Well, you can thank Commissioner Foley for that one. So, to Bailey and Banks, you two are not the greatest tag team of all time. And to WWE, give Bailey some new talent to face for her belt. Otherwise, her title reign is just meaningless. So, those are my thoughts on Bailey's title reign. Um, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys agree with me or disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section down below. And that'll do it for this episode of Wrestling Talk. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and subscribe. Be sure you turn on those post notifications. You will get more quality content like this and more quality videos like this as well. If you guys are wondering where the gaming channel is, well, stay tuned. I will have an update on that. Thank you guys very much for watching. and I'll see you guys next video.